Hey guys, Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics and I got another package in the mail. I give you my heart. So I got another package in the mail and this time it's killifish eggs imported from Thailand. I got a couple little things set up here and getting ready for them and um, I'm just gonna kind of explain the killifish egg thing. Let's open the package. Alright, so I used to keep annual and semi-annual killifish. I've never hatched the eggs before. So uh, instructions come with these and uh, I will just let you guys know what I'm doing here. So please keep eggs on constant temperature. Well, we will see, let's see. We will see how that goes because I live in Minnesota and um, it's a little chilly here, but some of these things just go dormant, should not touch the light. They will affect time to hatch, good to know. Temperature effect, higher than 29, hatches may be shorter. Lower hatches may be more, longer. Eye up on the eggs. It is significant that the eggs are fully developed. Hatch them with peat every time. If you hatch killifish without peat, the eggs will not hatch. Peat moss, they mean. If you cannot see eyes up because it's very small, you can wet it so you will get some hatch from fully developed eggs to undeveloped eggs, okay? To wet the peat, fill up a tray with aged water to a depth of about five centimeters. Oh, good. If the timing is right, you should see fry within a few hours. Oh, freaking hours! <gasps> I hope! If not, please wait at least 12 days. That's kind of a <laughs> long uh, span of time between the, wait about seven to 10 before transfer. Okay. You can transfer by pipette. Okay. You should have some Java or Christmas moss in the raising tray because it encourages growth. Okay. I will probably add that stuff after I notice that they hatch. Two days after wedding, dry the peat and bag it. Chances are there will be more fry when you wet the peat again in another two weeks. Some eggs by nature will not hatch during the first wedding. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. And I got some free fairy shrimp eggs for them. Awesome. All right, so let me first, before I uh, get these guys all, uh, you know, uh, situated, let me show you what I'm putting them in. So this is a little five gallon. You can see it's pretty black water with the peat moss down in there. All cycled sponge filter. And uh, look at that guy back there. <laughs> He's so angry. Uh, this is not first what I'm going to be hatching in. I figured it would be something shallower. Um, but I will turn the light off. So I've got this little critter keeper here and it's got about the right amount of water and also a sponge filter and a little heater uh, but as you can recall it did say 
um, to uh, not have the light on. So I'm going to shut that off and then I'll probably end up moving this thing to dark. Ugh, can't reach it. Well, anyway, I'll forget about that for now because I gotta leave it open. So let me set up my tripod. Okay, so open these guys here and see what we got. Okay, so it's a little moist or damp. And this is what that looks like. And I'm trying to see if I see eggs. I can't really see in this lighting, but I guess it won't matter. So I'm going to put this little pack of peat dump it in here. I'm doing it on the far side so I can uh, maybe see them a little better. Hopefully that's everyone. All right, so a few hours, huh? All right. Well, or er, minutes, or er, did I say hours? I can't remember even. All right, so uh, let's check back and maybe we'll see something. Okay, guys, I am back and I... I uh, have been gone for a couple hours and um, I just wanted to show you guys what I am seeing here. Okay, so see these, where's my finger, pop up, oh, see right here these three little specks, oh, and there's a bladder snail <laughs> cruising by. God, they're so fast. Those three little specks are eggs. And um, I do not see, I saw maybe a couple uh, more earlier, but I do not see them. And these fry are tiny. And I do think that I see, I don't know for sure, just like, couple tiny things that could be fry but I don't know because it's peat moss it's hard to tell and it's hard to see like I was looking there in that little clump I can't uh, get too close or it'll be weird I looked there uh, there close up and uh, I don't know so but these guys will be small and harder to see once hatched uh, but, you know, I prevented them from getting sucked up by putting them across the little container from the filter. So, we're going to keep our eyes open. And this will be multiple videos updating the growth. So, setting up and basically putting them in the peat tank and possibly seeing fry was my goal for today. Maybe I'll pop in and do a, a little clip or something. Uh, hopefully, though, the eggs um, will hatch because uh, it is a little chilly here. So, there you have it. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today again. Uh, Ruby with Unorthodox Aquatics here. And I will be back soon enough to update you on those baby killies, if there are any. <laughs> so, you guys have a great night. Bye.